Rolling. Barakatha Yahweh. 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 It's pushing his word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, standing up in great boldness to this devil. He saw himself, man. All right. And, um, you know, basically, man, you know, things is getting real. And, um, you know, the Lord is, you know, sending forth plagues. And, um, you know, we're going to just get straight into, uh, you know, this lesson because the plague that we want to harp on is the famine, man. All right. And go ahead, brother. This is Jeremiah. 30 and 7 at last for the day is great so so that it is none like it it is even the time of jacob trouble but he shall be saved out of it right it is even the time of jacob's trouble man which there's going to be a lot of pestilence you know race riots all right you know you know concentration camps but ultimately man you know what we want to speak on is the famine man because right now you know America is not that comfortable country anymore, man. You know, you you know, you was once able to, you know, pull up at a fast food restaurant and for five bucks get a whole meal, man. But see now, you know, restaurants are starting to, you know, close early. They're running out of uh, you know, product, you know, due to this coronavirus, man. This coronavirus that the Lord has have sent upon the uh the planet Earth, man, is is it's messing up everything, man. All right, and um, you know, a famine is coming, and you got our people. You know, they going into these stores, they buying up all the products, you know, and, um, you know, hey, man, you know, this thing is about to hurt our nation, man, because our people, you know, they love some damn food, especially the nigga woman, man. All right. Yeah. Which, hey, which a famine is one of the, you know, most painful ways to die, man. And if you can get that, brother, Bubba Kasha. Oh, let me say something real quick. Go ahead, hey, brother. Look, so it's a, at last for the day is great so, there, so that it is none like it. So, yeah, this famine that's about to hit, it's going to be like no other famine ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the, the apostle um, Tahar, like, like it did this, this, he said this was going to be worse than slavery. You know what I'm saying? And for the Israelites, that was one of the um, worst things to happen. But the first famine was actually recorded 441 B.C. So, you got all the way back then, it's going to be worse than any other famine that ever hit the earth. That's right, because America be not America's economy is not going to... It's not gonna recover from this, man. From this, uh, this great depression that is coming upon. Yeah. Cause ultimately, man, Esau wants to bring a famine, which you know is all prophecy, man. So yeah, a famine, hey, a famine of bread and water, man. Hey, the scriptures talk about how, you know, it's gonna be given out to you in increments, but it's gonna be it's gonna be given to you in increments once you take the chip. All right, that's when Esau going to give you food in increments and water in increments, man, and measurements, man, after you take the chip, man. See, the, hey, man, just go ahead, brother. Um, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Right, man, so it's better for you to get slain by the sword, man. All right, it's better for you to go out during martial law, you know, getting shot. All right, it's better for you to, you know, get your head chopped off, man. All right, then to be, you know, then to die by a damn famine, man, because that's when your insides eat your insides, man. Go ahead, brother. For these are pine, for these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. Right, if you die by a famine, that means your by Shimmy I was shot, got it out for you, man. Big time, man. All right, because like the scripture said, man, hey, better are they who be slain by the sword than by famine, man. All right, and this is and it's about to be a famine, man. All right, and uh, hey, brother, if you got any scriptures, you know, dealing with the famine, uh, go ahead, brother. This is Ezekiel chapter four, verse sixteen. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. He's going to break the staff of bread, which a staff is a support. All right, and hey, and how is he going to break the staff? Of bread in Jerusalem, man. First and foremost, they gonna cut the food stamps. All you nigga women out there that are getting all these damn food stamps, man. Hey, the Lord about to put a stop to that, man. Hey, hey. Matter of fact, I, Bubba Kasha, can you grab uh, Isaiah three and one Bubba Kasha, and then get right back to that, brother. 
This is uh. Because I believe Trump is to cut full steps real soon, man. Isaiah, sorry. Because all this different, all this aid. Hey, Trump, I believe Trump just received $50 billion if I'm not, if I may be wrong, but I believe they just gave that devil $50 billion. That money have to come from somewhere, man. All right? When, usually when, uh, you know, they get money for certain things, they take it from something else, man. And they're going to take it from the damn government public assistance, man. Because here it is, the Lord is offering you people his assistance, and you refuse it, but then you 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 you, you, you uh, stand in line for uh, Esau's assistance, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, the Lord the Lord of hosts doeth take away from Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a, a people before it's a place, man. All right, so the Lord is speaking about the, the 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead, brother. And from Judah, the state and the staff, the whole state of the bread and the whole state of water. There it go right there, man. So the Lord is about to strip the nation of Israel of, of, of bread and water, man, which is a famine. Which a famine is what, brother? Famine is a lack of uh, resources or a lack of you know, food or water. A scarcity. All right, which we're entering into that time, man. But go ahead, brother. All right, uh, back in Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 16. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight. That's the spirit. And with care, and they shall drink water by measure. Right, see, because like I said before, right now, you, you know, you used to be able to go to a restaurant, pull up at Wendy's. Get a faux faux faux, man. Get a fry, a nugget, a burger, and a, and a juice, you know? All right? But the time that we are entering, man, hey, you know, you smash that shit up, and then later on, you back in the streets again, and then you stop again and get the same. You're not going to be able to do that, man. America is not that comfort zone no more, man. You're not going to be able to go uh, to an all-you-can-eat buffet for seven bucks, man. Because why? No restaurant is allowed to... You can't have sit down. It ain't no dine-ins at these restaurants no more. You ain't gonna better stop at a restaurant, you and your family, and sit down and congregate and eat, man. Because all restaurants stop their dine-ins, man. It's either carry out or delivery, man. But that's only gonna last but a, a, a short period of time, man. All right, we're entering into the famine of bread and water, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, and with astonishment. Right, so you're gonna eat. Bread by measurement, which means you might come across one piece of bread, man. You're not going to even probably eat that whole bread. You're probably going to eat half of it and save half for later, man. That's the times we're entering, man. Because America ain't nothing but a bunch of greedy, obese people, man. Always damn eating, man. The restaurant I work for, man. Got the same niggas just ordering this pizza every damn day for delivery, man. Every day. Then you deliver them their food. You look at their damn stove. It's clean as hell. Like, it ain't never been to add a pot on it before, man. See, our people comfortable, man. Because our, 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 growing up, we used to eat. Our parents used to cook, man. Nowadays, they just are, you know, fast food restaurants, man. Which, hey, they got drugs in this food, man. All right? They got drugs in this, uh, in this fast food. And that's why people, they crave for it. And that's why the food ultimately is approved by the FDA. The, uh, the Food and Drug Administration. What the hell do uh, food and drugs got in common? Because the Esau put the damn drugs in food, man. That's why the scripture said we should eat our bread to foul. Uh, All right, go ahead, brother. Verse 17. That they may want bread and water and be a, a stone one with another and consume away for their iniquity. That's right, bro. Uh, so they're going to consume away because they're they going to be on want of uh, food and water. That's like right. Bread and water, like the scripture said. That's right, brother. They're going to consume away for their iniquity. You got another one? Yeah, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 16. It says, When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction. Right, so this famine, the Lord ain't, you know, bringing the famine to play around, man. When this famine hit, man, it's going to be for your destruction. Uh, All right, it's going to be for your destruction, man. It says, And which I will send to destroy you. And I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. Right. So little by little, man, you know, as the famine is approaching, you know, and like I said, all restaurants and majority of the states here in America. All right. They stopped, you know, dining ins man. You know, they got carryouts and deliveries. But soon, you know, the deliveries and, and the carryouts is going to stop, man. 
All right. So, you know, this thing is coming, man. This thing is coming. And for all you people, you know, hey, especially here in America, they used to make fun of the people that was going through these things outside of America. Now it's here now, man. All right. Now it's here. Now it's right in front of you, man. For all you people who didn't believe. Hey, now the man of the hey, I told you so, man. We told y'all this was coming, man. Go ahead, brother. You got another one? Con. Go ahead, Isaiah. brother. Yeah, come. All right, this Isaiah chapter 65. Uh, I'm going to start at uh, verse, start at verse 13. Yeah, because while all you people starving, all right, the elect man, the man of the Lord, starting with the man of the Lord, the apostles and elders of great meals, we going to laugh at you people, man. We're going to laugh at you people, man. When y'all starving to death, we're going to laugh, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Uh, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, it thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Right, because the scriptures say that, hey, man, the unrighteous, they storing up all this food, roughly paraphrasing, if you know what the scripture at, they basically, they going to just store all these things up for the just, man. All right, you know, you, you're these things that you people are hoarding, man, you're not going to benefit from it. The, the, the just is, man. Lord willing, we are part of that number, man. But go ahead, brother. It says, Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. That's right, man. So we're we going to eat in that time, and we're going to drink in that time, man. Go ahead. It says, Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And why are we going to be? Why are we going to rejoice, man? We are going to rejoice because every, you know, we fought the fight. We fought the fight, man. You know, everything, everything that the labor that we put in, you know, us coming back to Yahweh Shimei Shah, us putting our trust into Yahweh Shimei Shah, all right, it paid off at the end. All right, so we are going to rejoice and you are going to be ashamed because you had the same opportunity to get right, man. Hey, get that second address to nine chapter. Start at nine or ten, Bubba Kasha. Oh. All right, you're going to be ashamed because you didn't. You didn't believe and put your faith and trust in Yahweh by Shimei was shot. You put your faith and trust into uh to fucking Esau, man. And hey, let me get this let me get this scripture bubble good shot, man. Uh I believe it's uh Damn. What is it? Isaiah the Isaiah um uh, Yeah, Isaiah 31. Huh. Isaiah 31 and 1, it said, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Because majority of our people, they're going to go to Esau for help, man. All right? When, when there's no, you know, food and water, man, they're going to line up at these shipping centers, man. Instead of keeping their faith and trust in Yahweh Bashimi, I was shot, man. Hey, Bubba Kasha, I, read that uh, 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 Isaiah again, Bubba Kasha. All right? It says, woe, it says, uh, uh, Isaiah 31 and 1, woe to them that go down to Egypt. For help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many. All right. Because we know that the curses was that, you know, we was going to go to Esau for the one of all things. But now, you know, we're living in a time where the Lord say, hey, man, look, turn back around to me. I'm about to come and redeem y'all, man. All right. I'm going to redeem y'all. I'm about to put plagues on America. I'm about to put plagues on these different nations, man. Turn you away, man. All right. Remember the Lord in the days that I used before these evil days come, man. But no. Everyone is going to, you know, go down to, to uh, Esau, to their chipping centers, all right? And, 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 hey, when the Lord said he's going to feed us, he was going to give us our basic needs. You know, no one wanted to trust in the Lord. But go ahead again. No, Bubba Kasha, I, you go ahead and get that second Ezra. Don't even have to edges, get that. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Verse, that's right. Which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. That's right, man. Because, hey, man, you, you misused the ways of Yahweh by Shemiah with Shah. You know, hey, the scriptures say, um, let me see. That's the spirit, bro. Uh, what's that, Jeremiah? Uh, I got it. It's Jeremiah chapter 44, verse, uh, verse 4. It said, how bet? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate, man. So that's how you abuse the ways of the Lord, man. He sent out his prophets, man, day in and, and, and night and day, man, you know, to, to warn you people uh, of what's to come, man. And you and you mis and you and you uh, misuse the prophets, you scoff the prophets. All right. You know, and 
You know, the Lord said, hey, for that, you're going to dwell in torments, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, verse 10, for such as in this life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, the Lord have, you know, hey, nourish this, man. You know, every, hey, the Lord, hey, every Israelite on this earth, man, no matter if you, you know, no matter if you, you know, acknowledged Yahweh by Shimei or Shah not, man, he took care of you, man. He gave you your needs. All right. He nourished you and brought you up, man. All right. So you, hey, you received all these things in this captivity and you don't even know who the Lord is, man. You're giving all credit to false idols, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my law while yet, while they yet had liberty. Right. Loath because they hate, they hate it. They hate, they hate to see the man of the Lord out there on the highways and hedges, man. You know, and they got liberty right now because right now, you know, you know, we weren't just in martial law. You know, people was, and we still not in martial law right now, man. People just, you know, it might be locked down in certain states, but, you know, people was going to and fro, man. Movies, dinner, going to buy shoes, video games. So you had the liberty to, you know, learn this truth, man. Go ahead. It says, while they yet had liberty and whereas yet place of repentance was open to them, Understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. That's right, brother. The same gonna know it after death by pain. Calm. You know, and no, and you can break it down, huh? Oh, calm. So that death by pain is them ICMB missiles, man. ICMB missiles, famine. Famine. Why however, famine? however, you, it's not gonna be just some easy death, man. You're not gonna go out easy, man. You know, hey, cause hey, you might jump off a building trying to take your life. Or get shot, shoot yourself in the head. The Lord gonna have your spirit still in you. You gonna feel this death, man, because the scriptures say it again. What? Well, uh, the same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it at the death by pain, which famine is the most painful way to die, man. So a lot of you people gonna go out by famine, man. You had anything else up? Hey, man. So we hope this was edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kodash. Wa abat baba. Shalom.